Hello and happy, happy Tuesday. This is Wendy Lee. Let's see if I can get my video working here. This is Wendy Lee and I am coming from you from my studio today for a little bit of paper crafting. So again, happy, happy Tuesday. And uh, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the US. And today we are gonna make this little coffee cup um, gift card holder. So on the inside, I got a gift card fits right down in there and I've added some little candies in there. But I wanted to show you how to make the full sleeve on this because the dies that come with this, if I can grab them behind me, um, the dies include a band, but they don't include the full sleeve. So I'm going to show you how I made my template so that you can recreate this on your own. And we will decorate our little coffee cup. All right, let me switch my video over and make sure that I am in the correct place. Yes, right. All right, let's switch our video over. Perfect. And then let's make sure that we are on. Yes, we are live in the group. Perfect. So hopefully I'll be able to see comments at some point and they will come in. Hmm, we'll see. Sometimes I can see them. Sometimes I cannot see them. So we'll find out, right? <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and get started here. Why do you? Okay. Yay, I think I'm in the right place. Oh, no, double, double voice. There we go. Hey, Jean. Hey, Gwen. So glad you guys are here. And I found the comments. Perfect. All right. So again, we're making this super cute coffee cup holder. And so we've decorated the top. And again, just so you can see a better view, hopefully you can see a better view. Um, we've got the gift card and some little candies on the inside of our cup here. So again, the main thing I wanted to show you today, well, if I can get the lid back on, is how to make the full sleeve. Because again, the dies are intended to be just this little cuff around. And there's a lot of great things you can do with that cuff. But I want to show you how to, uh, how I created a template to um, cover this full cup. All right. So I am going to pull in just a scrap piece of paper. And this is actually, I cut this off of a pack of designer series paper. So you know how it has that little white cardboard that's on the inside. So I'm just going to use that because then it makes it super easy to, um, to use. Well, I think it makes it super easy to use. So I'm just taking the die and a pen and I am going to trace the inside. I could trace the outside, but I found that I did much better if I use the inside of the die for this. Perfect. All right. Now I know by measuring this coffee cup height that this band, if it's intended to be in the center, that I need an inch added to either side. So I'm just going to put some little tick marks here, one inch out using my little ruler here at the top and at the bottom. All righty, we'll get this. And then I'm gonna make a straight line just following that straight line that was already there. And then same thing on the other end. I'm gonna go ahead and make a straight line on that tab all right, I'm out a little bit, but I think that's okay. And then I'm gonna use this to kind of draw my curve back in so I get a nice smooth line. See if we can connect those without too much trouble. And we'll do the same thing at the bottom. Super easy to do this, I think. And reconnect that there. All right, now, if you want this tab to go down a little bit further, you can. So you could connect this as well. So it's about um, quarter to three eighths of an inch in. It doesn't really matter, but I could go ahead and draw that in as well and give it a little quarter to three eighths here. So we can reproduce that little tab. I actually found I didn't super need it, but um, we'll see what happens. Okay, so now we are ready to cut out our template. So we move the dies away in my pen. We will cut this out. Oh, it's windy with lots and lots of rain in Oregon today. Oh, goodness gracious. We have chilly weather, but it's super sunny. Um, we actually were able to put a first fire in the fireplace last night. I love a fire. Um, I don't know if it was really cold enough for that, but we enjoyed it. 
So I am just cutting away these pen lines here to create my template. Now, another way you could create a template is you could sacrifice one of your cups and tear it apart and trace that. That's probably the most accurate way to do it. But um, I found that this worked. Is it 100% perfect? Maybe not, but I think it worked just fine. So hopefully this is making some sense. All right, so now I've got my little template. We'll flip it over so it doesn't look so funny. So I've got my little template that is gonna fit right around my coffee cup, okay? So we need two of these to cover our cup. So let me go ahead and get rid of my trash here. And I'm gonna bring in some of my Snowflake Splendor Designer Series paper. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna trace out two of them on my paper. And hopefully I am in camera. So I'll slide that up just a smidge, just in case I'm not. And I'm gonna go ahead and just use the pen. You could use a pencil and erase it, but I'm going all in, just a pen. All right, so there's one, and let's go ahead and get a second one because we need two of them to cover the cup. And I'm putting my straight edge of the template on the straight edge of the paper just because it saves me from having to cut one more edge out. All right, great. So now we can just cut these out real quickly. And they don't take that long. And I didn't pre-cut them. So you're going to see it live. No magic on this. Just cutting this one out. And my little tab here. And I'm going to try to cut away the pen line so that I don't have to worry about that showing. I'm trying to make sure I'm still in the camera here. Not always easy to do. Perfect. So yeah, I've seen that there's um, different templates that people are offering that you could pay for a download. Um, and there's maybe a little bit more accurate than this. They may have actually really spent some time on it, but I just wanted to show you a fast, easy way to do it um, that you could do it on your own without having to buy one. It's taking the die that you have and extending it. Alrighty. Almost done. Perfect. Get rid of this extra paper. And I think I'll go ahead and put these little tabs in. I don't know. Again, I don't really know if I need them, but I'll go ahead and put them in there. Good deal. Okay, so now it's just like I would have used the die, but longer, right? And let me pull out a coffee cup. So our coffee cups come in a box and I believe that there is eight in the box. So I'm just gonna grab a lid and a cup. All right, and we are ready to go ahead and cover this. Now you can choose all kinds of different adhesives if you want to. Um, you can cover this by using liquid adhesive and then you can slide it a little bit. Cause you can see my curve is not perfect. Not perfect, perfect, um, but I think that's okay. So I've got a little space at the top because I cut off all my pen lines um, and I've got a little edge on the bottom as well. So if that bothers you, then you may want to spend a little more time perfecting this. But again, I found it was close enough for what I was doing. And by the time you put the lid on, you don't really see that at the top anyway. So you can use tear and tape, you could use, um, Stamp and Seal, Stamp and Seal Plus. Why don't we try the Seal Plus today? I'll grab that out of my drawer here. And I'm gonna just start with this first piece and get this edge down. And I'm gonna put some on this other side as well, maybe a little bit in the middle. So we're gonna start here. Now, I am gonna wanna tuck this other tab underneath there since I did cut that off. So I'm not gonna push real hard and I'm starting at that seam. Um, that starts back here. 
and see if I can roll this just around and not make too big of a mess out of it. Okay, now that one I want to push down really well. So let's go ahead and do the same thing here. I'm going to put my Stampin' Seal Plus. I want that really down well. Put a piece in the middle as well. So that's going to cover that edge pretty good. And I did find my angle is not quite the same. You would have thought that just extending that up um, would have been perfect. But I found that it was just a smidge off. Oh, how did I get it too short? Did I overlap too much? I did not have that trouble yesterday. Well, we're going to go with it because I've already put my adhesive on it and I've got it tucked down pretty good. All right. Well, I shouldn't have cut my tabs. If I don't look, if I wouldn't have cut my tabs, I'd have been fine. All right. So don't cut your tabs on that second one. I should have left them on there. Well, we'll make sure that that sits in the back and I will do something else to cover that up later. All right. So you can see your cup is covered. Cute. So then you can add your gift card, add some treats in there, and then let's go ahead and decorate the lid as well. So now you got to see all my mistakes so you know what not to do next time. Hey, Carmen, so glad you could join us today from Georgia. Fun, 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 fun. All right, so let's bring in some dies. I'm gonna bring in my layering, uh, actually these are the Stitch Shapes dies. I love these, I use them probably the most of any of my shapes. And I die cut a circle with the second largest out of balmy blue. So I've already done that piece. Next, I've got a piece of purple posy. And let's see, I think, yep, that one right there. So it's the fourth largest circle. So if I take this one, that one's obviously bigger. That one's bigger, that one's bigger. So it's the fourth largest. And I went ahead and die cut that as well. Then I'm going to bring in that scrap of designer paper I had. My light's flickering. And I'm going to take my two inch circle punch, unlock that, slide that in there, and cut out a little piece of designer paper. So I like to use the punches upside down so that I can see what I'm punching out. And um, our punches do have a lock on them, so you can squeeze them to lock them. And so they take up very little storage space. And I love that there's a picture on one end, so I can just slide that in my shelf. Makes it super easy to use. And then lastly, let's go ahead and cut out one of the snowflakes from the Snowflake Splendor dies. It's this one right here. And I cut that out of Pacific Point. All right, so let's go ahead and layer these up. And I am going to pull out some liquid adhesive. So we're just gonna go ahead and glue these circles together. So I've got my purple posy to put on my balmy blue. And of course you pick the colors that make you happy based on which print you pick in this designer paper pack. So the Snowflake Splendor, you guys already know this, but I'm gonna tell you again, one reminder, uh, my winter fr or frosted winter home decor class uh, registration is coming up the 23rd of November. So that one is going to feature um, products from the Snowflake Splendor Suite uh, and the designer paper in particularly. So it is a good one to use. So I'm just adding some little dots of glue on the back of that snowflake to put that down. And I'm just going to adhere that right in the center-ish. <laughs> right, it doesn't have to be perfectly centered. I'm gonna pull out my take your pick and I'm gonna bring in some of these um, frosted and clear epoxy droplets. I don't know if you use these, I love them. They're very, very cool. Yes, you can see mine's almost gone. And I'm gonna grab one of those giant ones and put that right in the center of my snowflake. It just adds a little fun flare. And since you don't have to worry about this being flat in the mail, it doesn't matter that that's got a pretty high profile to that gem there. Okay, now I wanna go ahead and adhere this to the lid of my coffee cup. So I'm gonna use some liquid adhesive for this as well. And it may take a moment to dry, so you may have to hold it. So let me get this around this edge. And hopefully I will capture this pretty well. And then we will just add this on top of our coffee cup. So I'm just gonna hold it for a moment while it dries. 
All right, so again, the remainder, when you go back and create your own template, don't put the tab in the second layer. You don't necessarily need the tabs in either of the layers, but definitely don't put it in the second layer so you don't end up with a gap like I did today. It will make it much better. All right, this is gonna take a moment for this to actually adhere to this plastic top. So I'm gonna have to hold that for a bit, but I'm ready to remove the top, add my goodies to the inside to complete my cup. See, I promise I had no layers exposed on that version of it. <laughs> All right, so we'll let that dry. Now, next week, I'm gonna take this project, I'm gonna expand it a little bit. So we're gonna make a little carrier. So I'll give you a sneak peek of what we're gonna make next week. So next week, we're gonna make this little carrier. So this coffee cup will sit right down inside of it. Cute, right? So fun, makes a nice gift. We'll do a little stamping and then we've got a place to slide in uh, money or a gift card there as well. So you could just fill this full of treats, maybe a little cocoa, maybe some coffee, all that fun stuff. So next week, I'll show you how to make this portion of the carrier. So not to stretch it out, but I like to keep things short, right? So you guys get a little bit at a time. So I hope you loved this. Um, we are featuring gift card holders all month long uh, in our Forget Me Not class. Uh, or card club, I should say. So we've already done our four projects and they are all posted. And tonight I'm showing them a bonus project that they don't know about yet. Although I just let that slip to some of you that are on the call. So anyway, we'd love for you to join us. Um, if you're enjoying these videos, please leave me a comment. If you've got any questions, let me know. I'll go back and answer those. Uh, share the video with your crafty friends. I very much appreciate it. And if you're watching me on the replay, I appreciate you subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you've got anything specific you guys would like to see, let me know and I'll see how I can fit it into the schedule. Thanks so much. Have a great week and I'll catch you all hopefully next Tuesday for more paper crafting fun. Bye for now.